What's going on fellow YouTubers? Today I got my original six finally have it together and I'm going to review it real quick. Four minute video. I know you guys don't like to watch anything that's too long or too in depth. So I'm just going to roll right through them. And uh, you know, one thing I will say is if you are a sports enthusiast, a jersey collector, and you like the NHL, you enjoy the NHL, this is a must have. The original six is an absolute must have. I don't care if you're a Boston Bruins fan, you're gonna have a Montreal Canadiens jersey in there. Vice versa, it is what it is. Jerseys are jerseys. So, without further ado, let me just roll right into it. First off, right off the bat, I went with kind of just the classic Boston Bruins. I have many of their jerseys, which stay tuned because I'm gonna do a Boston Bruins histo history jersey review uh, of my collection. So I just went with the basic one that they have now. Uh, it's classic looking, really well done. One of the better jerseys in the, uh, in the NHL, in my opinion, but that's just because I'm a Bruins fan. Uh, so yeah, it's made by Reebok, Patrice Bergeron. It's been with the team the entire time. Really well done. Uh, the Spoke B, it's a classic look to everybody can recognize it from a mile away. So that's our first one. Now technically they're the oldest American hockey team. That's up, I mean, that, that's what I've heard. That's what I know. Chicago is apparently first too. So if you guys can help me out in the comments below, just let me know, who do you think came first, Chicago or Boston? Because I, I, I've seen different uh, dates, so. All right, now let's go up uh, north from us and head out to Toronto. This is a basic Toronto Maple Leafs jersey. Uh, no name, blank. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on this just because I'm not a Toronto fan, but I had to have at least one of their jerseys. I do like the stripes on the side and uh, the piping at the bottom. Uh, it's just a very clean jersey. Th them and Tampa Bay have really clean blue jerseys, I must say. I like them a lot. Okay, now we're gonna stay north of the border. We're gonna go a little west though. We're gonna go to Montreal, the Yankees of the Hockey League. This is not your typical Montreal Canadiens jersey. This one, as you can see, is this is the 1909 edition. Right here is the patch. Hopefully you all can see that. 1909 to 2009. So that tells you when I got it. I was in high school when I got this one. In fact, it was my first jersey ever. Yeah, so interesting. It's got the Christmas colors to it. Christmas tree. Um, I've only seen them once wear these with tan pants. They look nice. A little quant today. All right, we're gonna go uh, to the Midwest, back in America. Here we go. We have uh, Chicago Blackhawks. Just a simple, their simple red. Uh, everything on here is nylon except for the front logo and then the shoulder patches. Just a very basic jersey. Again, I didn't want to spend a whole ton of money on this because I know that they can get pretty expensive. This one is made by Starter, so it's a little old, probably mid 90s, late 90s. And that Montreal Canadian one that I had up here is made by Reebok, by the way. If anybody's interested in looking online for it, most of my jerseys are Reebok. All right. Next up, we have New York, New York, Big Apple. We got the Rangers out here. This is one of the cleanest jerseys in the NHL, and honestly, in all of sports. When you think of, uh, of New York, and you think America, and New York City, and all that, red, white, and blue. And this, everything on here is perfect contrast. Everything on here pops. People constantly complain about the uh, Rangers font going diagonal and downwards. I understand people don't like it because it doesn't look right apparently or whatever. But if you think about a Ranger and their gear, maybe you think about this, maybe you don't, but their, uh, their, some of their straps, they go this way, especially for connecting belts and whatnot to, to radios and whatever. So you think about it, you know, some of their harnesses that, that kind of stands out like a trooper goes around like this. So that's why they have the Rangers going this way. But this is overall a beautiful jersey. I, I love the color, has the red in there to, to, to kind of mix things up here. The nameplate, 
kind of awkward in the back, I guess. It's a little lower than, than the other ones that are up higher, but that's fine, whatever. Down here is beautiful. The number of fonts are beautiful. Everything about this is crisp, clean, and beautiful. Not a Rangers fan either. I am, so, you know, I have no qualms with it. It's a beautiful jersey. Next, we go to the Motown, Detroit. Another beautiful jersey, uh, I gotta say. There you have a very classic look as well. Arguably one of the most creative jerseys in NHL along with, uh, you know, the Minnesota Wild and Anaheim Ducks have pretty creative stuff going on there. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, this jersey right here, Eric Lindstrom on the back. It's got the, I believe this is the very first Winter Classic that they that they uh, had. It was in 2009. Again, comment down below if I'm incorrect on this. I didn't do a bunch of research on it. I just kind of figured that before 2009, I don't remember any Winter Classics. But uh, yeah, so it's got the nice Winter Classic patch on there for Wrigley Field. And I like that because I like Chicago. I like the Cubs. It's cool. It's a classic stadium. You know, I got a Boston Bruins Winter Classic when they were at Notre Dame Stadium. That is epic. Absolutely epic proportion. Um, so I digress. So I love how they have the primary logo on the, on the side so you can still get a, a good sniff of that greatness that, that, that is Detroit and the team that won. I don't know how many consecutive years they were in the playoffs. It was something stupid like 22 years. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was up there. It was impressive. Uh, you got the beautiful cursive D on the front, or old English D on the front. The C patch on there, that's an, always an additive to have the C on there. Overall, great jersey. It's got the fighting patch on there, fighting strap, I should say, patch. So yeah, that's it. That is my uh, original six in a nutshell. I know I made, a few weeks ago, I made an original five jersey review. I just didn't have my Toronto one. So before I end this, I must put this in here because anybody that's new to the game and, and is overwhelmed by prices and where to get this stuff, I gave myself, two years ago, I gave myself a five year, $600 budget to create my original six jersey. That's about $100 per jersey, which if you think about it, is, is kind of lowball. In the end, I spent two years collecting all six at $105 at the very top. That was it. I spent $105 on all six of these jerseys in two years. So any questions you have about how I did this or how any of us do this, comment down below. I'll send links, anything you want, because it, it's possible. You can start your collection. You can get what you want at, at the price that you want. and. You just gotta you just gotta search and ask the right questions and, and know the right people sometimes. So as always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe down below. More videos will come, more likes and everything influx that comes in. Uh, so till then, like always, stay safe, take care.